everybody how you doing greg here just uh wanted to make this quick video to help uh educate how to get started with the christmas lights on your jeep how to power them up how to tape them up and uh just how to bring some extra festive holiday cheer uh to your nearby community um we'll go ahead and get started and dive in you know this whole process starts with where you want to power your lights your light power source and um simple inverters power inverters like this that take your cigarette lighter and convert it to your traditional wall plug uh for traditional uh, christmas lights uh in this case we use led lights to help meet the power loads on what these things can support um but i like to step it up and i bought myself this nice 400 watt um inverter that has a you know that shows me the, the power load and has two extra plugs and this is where i power my lights this is the extension cord that goes from inside my jeep to outside my jeep um i wired this directly to uh the battery with a fused uh with a fuse in between running through uh back here so you can see you know i got some fuses back here for different circuits that go straight to the battery so uh not required it's just what i do because um my truck my uh, gladiator only has this one cigarette lighter that uh, unfortunately doesn't stay on after the uh, ignition is turned off and when i open my door and if i want my lights to stay on uh, beyond that then i can go ahead and use this sucker right here and i have it straight to the battery like i said but um i could also power it to one of these switches that came with the jeep or if you have something aftermarket wherever the wires are for these switches you can just connect it uh, to this as long as you have the the right uh power uh load that you can you know push across the 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 fuse that you know if it's a 20 amp or a 10 amp or a 5 amp you're probably not going to be able to do it on a 5 amp but uh, anything larger you know should be able to get away stay as long as you stick with led lights but wherever you decide to put your inverter uh within you know uh, ease of access is where you're going to want to start your lights so the driver's side the passenger side under the seats even in the back um, older jeeps do have cigarette lighters in the middle that uh, are typically always on uh, maybe the newer ones i'm not so sure but mine doesn't have one and i know also in in older jeeps they have them in the trunk and the in the wranglers they have them in the trunk when you open the door and that's always on so it's a good place to uh, figure out where you want to put your inverter but we come outside i don't have anything under the hood but like i said i wanted to say that again i have my inverter uh going across a few straight to the battery and that's it i don't have any christmas lights going in or out of the engine bay uh, but after you know setting up my power source that extension cord i talked about earlier comes right here i like to land it on the antenna because it's a good place to to start all my lights and zip tie this for securing on the highway um, and then after that, you know, I get my multiple strands of LED lights. I like to use simple Walmart 100 strand LED lights. Um, they also make 50 foot strands or even uh, much longer strands. I mean, depending on what your budget is. Uh, this is, you know, this was not done overnight. This was done over a couple of years as far as buying lights and adding on to the design. But um, from this, I just go ahead and start putting my lights. And I use painter's tape to uh, adhere the lights to the body. Uh, the painter's tape, it's simple Scott Blues painter's tape I get at Walmart or Home Depot, but you can go online and get color matched uh, tape to uh, match you know, the color of your Jeep if you're trying to camouflage the tape. But just don't use masking tape. I did that mistake one year and it was really tough to clean. It was just uh, something I do not recommend. Uh, you will see that a month later after you take off the tape and see all the residue that you will have to buff out by hand slowly but surely to prevent damage to the paint. Um, prior to taping and installing lights, you know, you do want to wash your Jeep. You want a clean surface to put the tape on. We don't want dirt between the tape and the lights, and it's just going to lead to scratches and tape falling off and the lights just falling off. Um, so I definitely recommend that if you have also the time and effort. Waxing's good. Uh, it'll help just prevent some of that scratching on the um, clear coat from these lights moving when you're driving on the highway, for example. Um, as you can see all these you know lights i have them taped off uh, pretty excessively it may you may think so but i do it on purpose because um, if you don't put tape almost in between every light and you keep it something like this like i probably have to fix this it's going to make this noise but just at a faster frequency when you're on the highway and if you're not familiar with that noise and you're not thinking about the lights you're probably thinking that something's going on with the jeep itself and you're freaking out and you want to stop and then just not drive your jeep so um, i do have some tape i need to add but for the most part, I've already driven on the highway at 75, 80 miles an hour, and this thing drives like the lights aren't even higher. So, um, just something I recommend. 
Um, very important, you know, when you're using these different light strands and you have to deal with your doors and your tailgate and your hood, you want to take advantage of hinges. The hinges is where you want to go ahead and pass the light from one side to the other and then just do your design however way you want to do it and then bring it back on the same hinge or even on the bottom hinge depending on again what your design is but the uh, the point being is that you want to be able to get in and out of your doors as necessary it might not look so clean but trust me it's worth doing it like this to uh, prevent any lights from being damaged now if you're not careful about how these lights land on say something down here or some somewhere up here where there's a uh, like this one down right here if it was sticking out further as i close my door it probably uh, it will um you know shatter and you can see this light right here was the product of that last year so um that's what i highly recommend um another thing i recommend that i like to do is just i like to tape the plug side of any lights that I continue to to land um, just to prevent any kind of water just you know entering and just leaving staying inside and creating corrosion um, you know that's just been my experience at least but um, you can do it however you want um, I think the last thing I forgot to mention uh, or I, at least I want to stress out is LED lights LED lights LED lights uh, use one simple strand of incandescent lights and you're pretty much done with with your project it won't your inverter won't handle it um, these LED lights I'm able to uh, keep the Jeep off and have them powered to the inverter and uh, not really have any issues and I'm still not done with the Jeep I got plenty more to do but this is what I was able to get done in six hours and uh, I wanted to make this video to help educate those that again um, you know can't make any physical classes for the, that the club is offering uh, this year but you know, if you have some time after work or early in the morning or you're traveling and you're going to work on this, like, uh, I hope this video helps. And uh, where it's posted, just go ahead and put, uh, you know, comment uh, below the video and just post your questions or what you think. And that way, you know, we can continue uh, helping you all out to make this fun every year. Um, be patient with it. Uh, be creative with it. Um, and at the end, you know, Whatever type of lights that you use, whether it's the simple string lights, the, the netted lights, the uh, you can use inflatables. I've had an inflatable in the back of the truck one year. Um, you can use anything that's just as long as it's low power, low draw, and uh, LED, and you'll be good to go. And you know, we all look forward to seeing all the different ways that we can come up with, you know, these uh, lit Jeeps. So, uh, Merry Christmas to everyone. Uh, hope this video helps, and uh, take care.